New levels, new heights. New challenges, new victories. As the church attendance grew in numbers, J1 Church needed a bigger place for worship. In Batanga City, where the main church is located, J1's worship area cannot accommodate any more its 2,500 members. With this, the church tried all means and options to house its growing family, but the church endeavors were not successful. The present facilities were already hindering J1 Church's ability of reaching more people effectively. October of 2002, Bishop Art Gonzalez received a vision from God of building a new worship center that will house 5,000 people. Back up with God's promise in Haggai 2 verse 8 to 9, the vision was laid. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter temple will be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. Bishop Art received these instructions from God. Although he knew that there was no available money to fund the church construction that time, he believed that the Lord will provide for this vision. In a pastoral gathering, Bishop Art Gonzalez shared this vision to the whole J1 leadership. Surprisingly, in a matter of two hours, the leadership was able to gather 900,000 pesos worth of pledges for the initial funding of the church building. September 14, 2004, by the grace of God, the foundation of the J1 Mega Sanctuary was laid. But it was not without struggle. For eight years, the church construction became slow. Funding problems were encountered by the whole J1 leadership. The construction came to a stop and for others, there were no hope for continuing. It was a hard ordeal. But behind all of these, Bishop Art Gonzalez knew that God is doing something. God had a greater plan. The church continued to humble itself to God and seek the Lord's favor and divine provision. Then a new wave came. A miracle was witnessed. Mid-year of 2011, the church construction was continued. In only a year, new developments were done in the construction. Funding and new pledges arrived and favor from God has been received. Truly, God is doing and showing something great. Today, the construction of the worship area is nearing to the finish line. Offices in the first, second, and third fort areas are also coming to the finish. The fifth, sixth, and seventh levels are now to follow. Sooner this year, J1 Church is transferring to its new worship center. By the grace of God, the biggest church in the whole region for area of the Philippines. Truly, God has showed once again that nothing is impossible for Him. There is no trial which can hinder Him to show His glory. Indeed, we serve an amazing God who provides and sustains us.